Do not ignore a leaking boiler. These problems don't just go away. Let's see if we can help diagnose and fix your leaking boiler. Hi, I'm Dan from iHeat. In today's video, we will be running through some possible reasons why your boiler may be leaking and how to fix it. As soon as you notice your boiler is leaking, we would always recommend turning off your stop tap. This is where your water supply comes into your home. Your water main is usually located near your water meter, outside at the front of your house, near the boundary of your home, or sometimes in a close vicinity to a garden tap. When you notice that your boiler is leaking, the first question you should ask is, should I repair or replace my boiler? The answer to that is entirely up to the reason why it's leaking. Depending on the location of your boiler, you could be facing a serious leak in your home. It can also lead to the growth of mold and fungi from the moisture, which is bad for air quality. Though these may be extreme scenarios, you don't want to take a chance with a leaking boiler. So your first point of action should be to seek help from an engineer. However, there are several different reasons why your boiler may be leaking. But if your boiler is old, covered in corrosion, and looks like it belongs in a junkyard, then maybe it's time to replace it. But if it's not, then you can try and find the cause of the leak. With that said, let's take a look at some of the most common issues when it comes to leaking boilers. Most of the time when your boiler is leaking, the first thing you need to do is to check the pipes that are underneath the boiler. They are typically the main suspects. This can happen naturally over time, or it could be a result of badly installed pipes. In the case of older boilers, it is normal to experience leaking over time. The water in the boiler and the pipes is combined with the metallic debris. This results in natural corrosion to the copper pipes. This corrosion can lead to small gaps in the pipework, and this will cause water to leak out. If you don't have a magnetic filter installed, such as this AD Pro 2 Micro, free with every install for my heat, then get one. This can seriously help you get the gunk out of your system. However, if you have a new boiler that has just been installed and you are already experiencing leakage, then it is safe to assume that corrosion is not the problem. Rather, you have received a poor installation from your engineer. If this is the case, you should immediately reach out to your engineer to rectify the issue. But before you go pointing a finger, keep in mind that it may not necessarily be the engineer's fault. This is why it is important to use a reputable company that has qualified gas safe professionals that can handle all these services. This may come as a surprise to some people, but boilers, just like many other devices, cannot handle too much pressure. Too much pressure in the boiler simply means that there is too much water being used, and to relieve itself, it has to go somewhere, so the system may leak. Fortunately, most boilers have a pressure gauge on the front of the device. It usually has a green marking that displays the right levels of pressure for your boiler. On some of the newer Worcester Bosch and Wiesmann boilers, these are now built directly into the digital screen on the front. They do also have a backup mechanical gauge, which you can access by taking off the front of the boiler. If the pressure on your gauge is too low, then we have a separate video on how to top up your boiler's pressure here. You will need to address the leak on the system before topping up the pressure, as this could make things worse. If the dial is too high, then you're dealing with too much pressure in your system. This can be treated by bleeding a radiator, to remove some of the water in your system. All you have to do is to turn one of the release valves on one of your radiators. This is something you can do without the help of a heating engineer. In some cases, if the boiler pressure becomes too high, then internal parts of the boiler can fail. This can leave you with a leaking or broken boiler. This is when the costs start to rack up. A heat exchanger allows heat to be exchanged between two fluids or substances, in this case, gas and water. Simply put, this means transferring the heat from gas to the water that will be circulating around your home to the radiators and hot water tank. The heat exchanger is one of the most expensive parts of a boiler. So when the heat exchanger is faulty, it is probably one of the worst things to cause leakage. In old or low quality boilers, it is possible for the heat exchanger to fail, crack or come to other damage. Now, if it is the fault of the heat exchanger, it can be replaced by a professional. However, since the heat exchanger is quite expensive, it might be of better value if you get a new boiler instead. If you're looking for a new boiler, you can head over to iheat.co.uk for a fixed price quote and installation as fast as tomorrow. Boilers aren't made to last forever, so it is possible that over time, the seals and the pump have corroded. This will surely prevent them from functioning well and it will leave your boiler vulnerable to internal damage. When your boiler has internal leaks, it can cause the boiler to leak water rapidly. This can result in a real safety issue in your home. Again, it is always best to call an engineer as soon as you notice an issue. 
they will be able to take a look at your internal parts of the boiler to determine the cause of the water leak. Now, this is a typical problem that almost all boilers need to face. If you notice that it is leaking, then it could be giving signs that it needs to be replaced. After a while, the copper pipes of your boiler will have decayed. This can naturally cause leaks in the pipework. You may be able to fix a minor leaks temporarily, but major leaks can become dangerous if handled incorrectly. Leave this to a registered gas safe engineer to fix. Another question you may have asked is, at what point should I replace my boiler? If your boiler continues to leak after several fixes, you might be tempted to replace it. That's understandable. However, it is possible that your boiler is only leaking because of another part of a central system that wasn't repaired properly in the first place. Replacing your boiler should be the last resort when you are all out of options. The only time you should replace a boiler is when you have confirmed with an engineer and you're sure that replacing it will help prevent future occurrences or if the boiler is badly damaged beyond repair. One thing you can do to prevent future boiler leaks is to get your boiler serviced every year and this is an important part of a boiler ownership. This will help you to ensure minor issues are caught and fixed before they develop into major issues. We hope you got some helpful information and you enjoyed the video. You can drop a comment below to share your boiler leak story and how you were able to rectify it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. You can also press the notification bell so you never miss an upload. It is a lot cheaper than fixing a leaking boiler. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.